Welcome back to Healthy Planet, Healthy Me. I'm Sherry Beal. We're joined here with Sandy Fox and Lex Lang. They're the founders of the Love Planet Foundation and h 2 on Water with Intention. I'd like to welcome them for the first time to Healthy Planet, Healthy Me. Hi, Hi how are you? Hi, Sherry. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Now, you may or may not heard of h 2 on Water, uh, but we're going to go ahead and explain what it is and its purpose. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with Sandra, Sandy Fox. Hi. Well, h 2 on Water with Intention is designed to inspire you to resonate with the consciousness of love, prosperity, gratitude, these positive thoughts. And when we're resonating, these positive thoughts, our bodies responds, our spirit, our mind, body, spirit, our environment responds to this consciousness, to this vibration, this higher vibration vibration. So our slogans, think it while you drink it. We put these beautiful positive words on the label and they're there to inspire you to create that intention in your day. Lex Lang is also a co-founder of the Love Planet Foundation and H2On Water. Tell us, uh, just for starters, what percentage of our body, uh, whether we be a child or an adult, is made of water? Well, when you're born, it's over 90 percent water. And as you get older, it decreases a little bit. But even as adults, we're over 70% water. And our brains are over 90% water at all times. Okay. So the majority of our being is water. That's correct. And how does... Uh, okay, you, you have these beautiful water bottles. And we'll talk all about that because they, they pretty much check off environmentally, which is really cool. Um, but you've got these water bottles, and I'm, I'm looking at one now, and uh, one says love, one is perfect health, one is gratitude, prosperity, willpower, joy, and peace. Now, what is, for example, this bottle here that is uh, says love on it, how is the water in this bottle different from the water coming out of my tap? Well, it's very different. First of all, it's a natural spring water. It doesn't have any chemicals or fluorides, and there's no traces of uh, pharmaceuticals or anything in the water. It's a, a completely pure natural spring. And uh, for H2O, we, we um, get our water from a spring at the 4,000-foot elevation mark. So it's high above the fertilization line, above the agricultural runoff. So it's really it is most pristine form. Tell us about uh, the sort of environmental aspects and the, and the makeup uh, materials of your, your water here. Well, we use a PET-1 plastic, which is like the safest food grade plastic in the industry. And, you know, we were looking into glass because we were curious as, as to if glass had uh, a more ecologically friendly choice for packaging. And we decided to really investigate and, and we assessed the ecological impact of both glass and plastic using three environmental parameters. We were looking at the energy consumption, how it, uh, the air pollution, and also the global warming potential and the greenhouse gases. And what we discovered was really interesting because um, we were looking at reports that were the economic input-output cycle assessments from Carnegie Mellon University and their Green Design Institute. And these are reports that were done this year. And we found that in terms of energy consumption, that glass consumes nearly two times more energy to produce than plastic. In terms of the air pollutants, that glass produces nearly three times more air pollutants than plastic. And in terms of the greenhouse gas pollutants, that glass creates nearly seven times more global warming gases than plastic. And, um, you know, so right away we realized that it was, uh, it seemed that glass wasn't all it was cracked up to be, you know. But we wanted to make sure we were in a clean plastic. And so what's great about PET-1, and we know the, the, you know, the track of where our plastic comes from. The resin comes from a hydro-powered plant in Costa Rica. They use no electricity, no bisphenol A's, no flalates. None of those um, uh, PVC contaminants are in the resin at all. It doesn't even exist in the resin to ever leach into the water. And then uh, we blow our bottles at our own plant here in in LA. Our spring is local. We make our bottles here. It's local. So we're not shipping anything in from China. So we know where our plastic comes from and we're really very conscious of our sustainability. And our and our plastic is actually 100% recyclable. The 100%. caps, the labels, and the bottles. Ah, And yeah. reusable. You can clean it like you would a good, you know, a your, your or, dishes yeah. and you can reuse it. Why, for example, this bottle that I'm holding now is, says love on it? What was done to make, what was the process of making this, the structure of the water in this bottle different from what comes out of my 
tap or what what when it first came out of the spring? Well, there's a couple of factors, and that is that our slogan is think it while you drink it. So the intention that you put into it while you're drinking actually affects the water. So if you're thinking about love while you're drinking the love bottle, that's going to affect the water in a slightly different way than it would if you were thinking about gratitude or prosperity or willpower or one of the other intentions that we have. The second thing is that on the inside of our label, and Dr. Emoto will be able to explain this a little more later when he talks about the research he's done, we actually printed the words on the inside of the label in many of the world's languages representing love or gratitude, the different intentions. And so the vibratory signature of those words are constantly being received by the water. So that's really one of the fundamental differences between the different intentions. I know that several years ago, it was considered more of a pseudoscience because not many people had gone into the research of it. But as of this year, we have Nobel, pre- uh, Nobel Prize winning scientists and, and physicists, chemists from all over the world. All over the world that have reproduced these um, experiments and have shown that there is a, a true difference in the water based on whether the intentions going towards the water via music, via words, via pictures. If it's positive, the water reacts in one way. If it's negative, the water reacts in the other way. And this kind of goes back to what you were saying at the beginning of the show, which is we're made of water as well. Mm -hmm. And I I don't know about you, but if someone says thank you or I love you to me, I feel a different way than if they say, you know, the explicit expletives towards me, you know. Yeah, get ready for the beat button here. (laughs) And and that there is no separation. You know, when you see this effect on water, when you're thinking love or joy or peace, and then you see the effect on water, we understand that we are water beings that inhabit a water planet, and there is no separation. And when you say see the effect on water, do you mean scientifically under a microscope? Yeah. The the, um, the The structure? The crystalline structure, yeah. It's it's awe-inspiring. It was, uh, yeah. Okay, so before we close, how do you... um, this, for example, this uh, one bottle here, love, mm-hmm. uh, or whichever one. What is your guys' process of putting love or making the structure of this? Uh, do you have people uh, sitting around uh, cases praying? Or no. no. As I mentioned, there's the interactive quality. Then there's the words that are on the inside of the label that are constantly giving that vibrational frequency to the water. And colors emit. They resonate a feeling of love that, you know, certain colors were chosen to resonate and support the vibration of love and perfect health. They're really beautiful. And as a bonus, and this is only because we have the knowledge from the science journals from Penn State and Berkeley and Stanford, as a bonus, we created a soundtrack that has, it's about 17 minutes long, and it has all sorts of different uh, vibrational frequencies, uh, spoken word, crystal bowls, uh, ohm meditations. It has a variety of compositions. And once the water is in the bottle, we play that music to the water 24-7. Just while it's so. sitting in storage. And it's really just something we uh-huh. wanted to do to support that environment of loving your water and caring about this and how sacred this is. That yeah, it's, it's very a, sacred to us. It's really so. a bonus for the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's really that the primary focus should be from the individual being interactive with it, being a cause in the matter of creating their own positive energy in their day. And that's the really mm-hmm. that's the primary um, design of, of the water. Okay, great. Well, I would like to thank you so much, Sandy Fox and Lex Lang. What a lovely couple, founders of the Love Peace Foundation and H2M Water. L- Love, Planet Love, yes. oh, Love Planet Foundation. Yeah, yes. Love, Love Planet. Oh, Planet Planet Love Planet Foundation. Wow, that just came out. Org. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's your website again? It's a uh, loveplanetfoundation.org and if you're interested in the water it's h2ohmwater.com and the only number in that is the number two everything else is letters h2ohmwater.com excellent so thank you so much for joining us on Healthy Planet Healthy Me keep up the great work stay tuned thank you in the town where I was born lived a man who sailed to sea and he told of his life in the land of submarines.